Welcome back after a very long break. Today I'd like to show you how to create wooden tray with Father Christmas. First I paint my wooden tray with mixture of acrylic paints to much darker background, background of my napkin. I apply only one coat as coverage is very good. All the materials used in this video can be purchased in our shop at www.agiscraftshop.co.uk I will leave you the link in the description below this video. When everything is dry, I apply thin coat of shabby medium. This liquid will help us remove top coat of paint later on to create shabby finish. You could use candle between two coats of paint, but with this medium you paint whole item and then you can decide where you want to remove paint. This small bottle will last you very long time as we are using only tiny bit of liquid. Now we need another coat of paint. This time I prepare lighter color but still try to match background of my napkin. If you are using sponges you will need only one layer of paint. I had to paint my tray twice. When everything is dry, I use thick sandpaper to create this stress look. I started with grading 240, but this was too thin, so I had to change it to grading 90. This is very messy and you might want to do it outside. When you finish, remove dust with dry brush or vacuum cleaner. At this point we can start working with our napkin. Remember that if you are using scissors it is easier to cut through all three layers. I cut around Father Christmas with scissors and I leave napkin around fir branches. Then I remove two bottom layers of my napkin and I use water with small brush to tear around branches for better blending.
Gluing larger pieces of napkins can be quite difficult and in this case you could perhaps use iron and baking paper. I'd like to show you that with good quality synthetic brush you can do it as well. So I start with fair amount of glue on my widest brush and instead of starting from the center I start next to raised edge and work my way towards edges smoothing my napkin. I notice that gluing my napkin quicker makes less wrinkles. Even if I get a couple of small ones, I can sort this out with sandpaper later on. As you can see, background between fir branches is much darker, darker than the rest of the tray. This looks awful, so I mix several paints once again and some water if needed and I use small flat brush to paint new branches. You can add little bit of white paint on top to create snow if you want to. I also paint branches in Father Christmas's hand as I didn't like those either. Unfortunately, forgot to turn my camera on. If you want to hide some imperfections, you can splash some dots around your work. Until now, I used either toothbrush or brush with stiff bristle to do it, but I thought of using fan brush instead, and this is much better and less messy. So white and light grey dots all over my work. This will also look like snowflakes throughout. At the very end I use satin finish varnish to seal my work. I apply two coats, wait for it to dry, then I sand my tray with sa fine sandpaper. I repeat the steps until I'm happy with the finish. In this case, I had to sand five times between every two coats of varnish. Remember, more means better. This process should remove all small wrinkles caused by gluing. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you like it, please leave me your thumb up and I will see you next time.